But yeah, I really like this outfit. Strip myself down for years. Love that for me. Does anyone else just feel extra bougie with a red lip? Alrighty, kids. Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Hello, lovely people. It is Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're just joining us now, welcome. So, we have got a just like... We have got the best Primark haul I've ever done. So I went to Primark about two weeks ago. You see in my haul, wasn't that impressed. And I think I went the changeover from their summer to their autumn stuff. Because I went in there literally two days ago, could not leave literally anything on the racks. Because it was so good. I wanted everything. The lighting is fucking shit. I've ordered a new ring light, I know, okay? I'm gonna try and brighten it up best I can in the Edmonton. Well, Harry is, because he is my editor. But, you know, I hope he can make it look better than it looks on the screen right now, because I'm not vibing with this. But anyway, I tell you now, Primark home. <laughs> Primark clothes. <laughs> Primark. <laughs> you have just, you've nailed it, loves. You have nailed it. And... I'm going to be going there in two weeks again because the employees told us that Primark is basically the new Ikea. What? What? The homeware was already <coughs> top notch. But apparently it's getting better because the ground floor of Northumberland Street Primark, which is my nearest and dearest Primark, the one that I love, the one that I always go to, is Northumberland Street in Newcastle. And apparently the ground floor is going to be like little sets little rooms, they're going to have flat pack furniture, it's basically become an Ikea and as, as the employee was telling us, I was just like what? Probably be redoing me full house out because by the looks of the teasers they had in the store, I am going to love Primark home furniture and all of this rack is full of stuff that I got. Guys, you're not ready. The best Primark haul coming your way right now. So sit down, get yourselves a cuppa. I'm excited, I hope you are. Let's get into it. We're gonna start with homeware stuff because I have it all here beside us. Then I'm gonna move on to the clothing items and we're gonna style them and I already have one in the morning. I'm just so excited. Okay, so homeware. Oh, the first thing I got was this. Now, I've been struggling to get open deco. Primark had a little bit, but still not as much as the Americans can get. Like, their targeting things just seem to go all out at open. But I think fall's more of a thing over there than it is here. I mean, we just get like a skeleton and a pumpkin, and I'm not really here for that. But I've seen this little beauty. It is a glass dome with a wooden base, and it has some pompous grass in it with like a little arrangement but I just thought this was so cute it's nice it's quite minimalistic it's quite plain and I thought this would be a nice little autumn deco piece um for the center of my table in the living room and it was six pound which I actually thought was quite decently priced it is glass and you know this is like a good thick piece of wood so good quality I like the style of it I think it's really nice and yeah I just thought this would be a really little pretty piece to have on display Okay, the next thing I picked up is kind of more autumn themed, but these are a shaped candle and they burn for up to 23 hours. And these are little pumpkins and they were two pound each. Now they're in this absolutely gorgeous gold, like kind of like a brushed gold. I love them. Now they come on string like this, so I'm presuming you just cut the string and that'll be your wick because obviously your label is on there but i love these i thought for the price of them they were absolutely gorgeous quite like a modern autumn deco and not something really halloweenified so i picked two of them up so two pound fifty and i got two of them for five pound but i just think they're lovely in my living room is gold so i thought these would really match in the living room vibe i'm going to be doing a video on my second channel daily dose of us home where i decorate my home for the autumn so if that's something you feel like you want to say make sure you head over there and subscribe if you're not already and you'll see us styling all my little autumn bits my bits and bobs okay mugs wow so i picked up this mug now she looks a bit plain but on the inside, she has kind of like a staining going on here in kind of like a like a brownie colour and the actual mug is beige. Now, I really like this. It is a good size mug for your morning cup at and it was only £3. But I just feel like it's such a pretty mug. I like the colour and yeah, it feels like all of the like 
like kitchenware bits that I got. I feel like got anthropology vibes. I don't know if that's how you say the name of that shop, but every time I look on their website, I really love the aesthetic of their stuff. I just think it's really expensive. But Primark pulled it out of the bag. Like I feel like you'd say this on anthropology. I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I probably am. But anyway, I really like this for three pound. And then sticking on mugs, got another mug. I got this mug here. So she has kind of like a staining around and then on the inside it has like a subtle staining here. But this is in like a gorgeous pearlescent gloss. I really like it. It's kind of like an off-white purpley colour with brown detailing and this one was £3.50. A decent size mug. I think it's a good size. I really like it and I just really like the aesthetic of it. I thought it was really pretty. I then also picked up the matching bowl. So this is what the bowl looks like. Now this was £3.50 as well. But again, just the same style as the mug. A decent size bowl. And I just really like the look of it. So I picked up the mole and the mole. I picked up the bowl and the mug. I then also picked up another. And this is what it looks like. It's in kind of like a nudie colour. But it has like a uneven edge. And that vibe, I was here for it. Now this is a good bowl quite a lot in there you can fill it high with your pasta and it's just got this really nice kind of like flower pattern anyway i really like this bowl i thought it was so pretty and i don't know how oh it's got a chip in it oh never mind Mm, I still love you, don't worry. I was just about to say it, nearly all of my plates and bowls have got chips in them and I don't know how. I must be a bit rough when I'm washing them so I really need to be a bit more delicate. This one I've just noticed has a chip in it as well. Mm. Anyway, I still really like her and I think she's very pretty. A very nice bowl. I then picked up two tea towels. They are named as napkins but they're definitely tea towels. They're in like a brown colour and they were £2 and they're in like a waffle material got like a little waffle texture and you just get two for two pound which I thought was quite decent I then also picked up this little kind of chopping board brown tray I really love the vibe of this I like the little handles and I love the color of the texture of the wood it's got like the dark the light and the medium wood all together I thought that this was so pretty it was 12 pounds so I did think that this was a little bit on the price yes I but once I'd seen it and caught my eyes on it I couldn't put it down I really liked it and I thought it would make a really nice little kind of decor piece in the kitchen if I wanted to put some autumn deco out or if I wanted to make it like a little coffee station so yeah I picked this up as well which I really like and then the last thing that I got from the homeware section <gasps> I love it so much it's a lamp for the living room okay but I have these style of lights all around my house so I have them in the bedroom I have them on the passageway and they're basically the lights with the balls anyway I seen this and I couldn't put it down it would totally match the vibe in my living room this is what it looks like it just has like a gold stand and then two ball lights and this was 25 pound but i just think this is absolutely gorgeous and it totally matches the vibe of my living room so i knew that i had to have it she had to be a part of me life she had to go on me side table you just had to didn't you love so yeah i picked this up and i just think it's gorgeous i'm here for it okay so we're now going to stand up and i'm going to show you all of the clothing items that i picked up and we're going to style them See if I like them, see if they fit, see if they don't. And yeah, I'm really excited to show you the clothes because guys, there was so much more I could have got. I did have to limit myself when I knew that the amount of money I was spending got up and I ended up at the till spending £270, the most I've ever spent in Primark. Some of it may be returned, but if I do keep it all, then I have got my autumn wardrobe sorted. Like, I got so much here. By the way, I know a lot of people ask for sizing and in my Primark, I did find that a lot of the sizing wasn't going past the size 22. I don't know about other Primarks, but I was looking at the biggest size that they'd done just so I could reference it. And honestly, I didn't find much past the size 22 in the items that I wanted. However, that doesn't mean that every Primark is the same. So definitely go to your Primark and have a look and see if there is anything. So yeah, let's move back and get into the clothes because, oh my God. Okay guys, so I think I've managed to get a full view frame in the office. I think you can see all of us, which I'm very happy about if I've managed to do that. Pat on the back to me. Anyway, so the first outfit I have on is a little cord set. Now, people say when I say that, cord, cord, 
cord cord i'm not really sure but it's a matching set okay so this is the little set that i picked up i seen this on primark's instagram and i was like i need that i think it's absolutely gorgeous so the little skirt was eight pounds now i got it in a size 20 i'm not sure why because i feel like i'm a size 18 to 20 in primark depending on like the item the fit and all that other stuff but i definitely could have downsized on the skirt because it is giving us some leeway each side so if i need to do a return i might say there's an 18 just to make it a little bit more fitted but i definitely would keep the 20 in the jacket because i have like a chubby arm and it feels a tiny bit tight but i could wear it like it's very wearable i love this set so much complete autumn winter vibes i think it's gorgeous the coloring on it it's like a check color but it's like brown lighter brown and a bit of the rooney red i'll give you a little close-up this is what it looks like i think it's absolutely gorgeous i love little sets like this i think it's such a stunning set autumn winter vibes yes now i love the nudes now i've paired it with black because i really wanted to wear my black like converse style shoes so i went with a little black racer top and then i have also got my converse on just to kind of make it more tomboy edgy this is how i would like it i don't think i would wear it with like smart shoes and stuff maybe i would like if i was going on a night out i definitely would put on some heels with it but obviously if i wanted to wear it more through the day casual this is how i would style it personally i'm buzzing with this outfit i love the fit of it i love the coloring i think it suits us really well and i feel like these little blazer and skirt cords are going to be so popular this year and i'm here for it i look bloody brilliant okay guys so the next two items that i have are these pants which are a leather look trouser but they do have a line down the middle now i have chunky legs and the line is off center and i can't get it center so i'm not gonna lie not the biggest fan of these now i think these were 13 pound and i got them in a size 20 but i just don't like the way the line is off center on my chunky legs so i'm probably going to return these because i wouldn't wear them i do have a pair of like wet look pants which i do prefer over these but i do like the leather look so how i would style it i've gone for a white shirt underneath that sticks out and then i've gone for a little v-neck sweater now this is what it looks like now i have put a belt over the v-neck sweater just because i think it ties us in more and like flatters my figure a bit more than just having it all loose this is what it looks like and i've got the converse on the high top style converse this is the full outfit i really like this outfit now what i could do jacket wise jacket wise if it was cold out we could throw on a wet style leather style blazer type thing from nasty gal but yeah a very black and white outfit neutral colors this is how i would style it if i wanted to wear a coat but other than that i really like this outfit other than the pants i just don't like the line down them okay guys so the next few items that i picked up from primark in this haul is the jacket now i've seen was it on instagram a few people belt a jacket if you know me i love belt and stuff so i thought let me try and belt a jacket i really like the way that it looks i feel like it's a really nice different way to wear a jacket and something that i wouldn't originally thought of myself because i always thought that jackets were just meant to look loose but i'm here for this i love primark blazers because they're really like lightweight material and a thick blazer never really sits well on me so i got this one in a size 20 i will show you it unbelted as well just so you can see the actual fit of it in a minute but i just wanted to show you this little fit i threw together this belt is actually from boohoo i think and i did find the link to it recently because a lot of people ask about this belt when i wear it so i will have the link to it below and then also from primark is this little leather skirt it's a mini skirt it's really nice hugging to the body you'll see it better when i take off the belt but i really like this little outfit together i've um, paired it with a little black racer and then also the high top converse style shoes again so i'll take the belt off so this is what the blazer looks like unbelted so again a really nice fit very boxy fitting this is what the skirt looks like so you can see it fully this blazer is 15 pound which i think is a really decent price for a kind of jacket come blazer it is a thinner material one but i do like that because it's really nice to kind of float around and i do think this is better in outfits and then this skirt was eight pound and like i said it's just a leather look skirt i got it in a size 20 this does have a little bit of leeway on the waist but i feel like it is a good size for us because 
of the leather feel material it does stick to us which is nice it like fits quite nicely but yeah i really love these two items definitely going to be keeping them both and i feel like i'm going to get a lot of wear out with them in autumn because they're really nice to style you can style them with many colors lots of different ways so i'm really happy with these items right guys so the next outfit i got was meant to be a jogger set but my chunky thighs and legs are having none of this I got these in an XL, but they're clearly too small. They're not meant to look this fitted. I think they're meant to be more baggy. Or maybe they are meant to be fitted, but I don't really vibe with that, especially not on a jogger. So the pants were £12. They're like white and they have green detail in just in Sunday Sports Club. And they have like a green at the bottom. And then I got the matching cardigan, which was very oversized. And I've tucked it into my bra. And I would kind of like lean it off the shoulder to make it very casual. Now, I like this. I did get this in an XL as well, but this is, like, oversized, so I don't think this looks bad. But, yeah, I do like the top, although I'm not sure how much wear I'd actually get out of it. I don't know if it's something I could see myself styling and wearing regularly. So, for that reason, I might return the full set. I'm not really sure. I'm just not vibing with the way that it looks. Okay, guys, so this is the next outfit and the items that I've styled. So, we have the pants. So these were actually in the sale, so I was quite happy to find these. I got them in an XL, now they're a little bit long, so I'm going to ask my mum if she can take them up. So I got these ribbed culottes in the sale for £6, which I think is an absolute bargain, because I'm all about a comfy trouser, I wear them all the time, I style them all the time, and I didn't actually have a white pair, considering I'm now wearing a lot of nudes and neutrals, I feel like this will go really well. So they're just a wide leg culotte, they are ribbed, they're in a lovely soft material, £6 in the sale. They are slightly a bit long for me and I am 5 foot 4 so I am going to get my mum to take them up just slightly so they're not like over my shoes. I've styled them with these chunky sole beige trainers from Misguided. This fake Louis Vuitton bag, I either got it on holiday or from Vova, I'm not sure which one. And then I have put this body warmer on. This is a nude body warmer. Now, I really like these and I feel like they're really in at the moment. They always come back in trend, I feel, but I feel like this autumn, they're definitely in trend. This nude one I got from ASOS, so I'll have it linked below. And then this high neck jumper is just from Primark. It's one of the basics. I have it in nearly every colour, but I didn't have it in this brown colour, which I've seen that they brought out. It's just a high funnel neck jumper and it has little uh, long arms as well. These are so good for autumn, for layering and stuff. I'll show you what it looks like properly. So these are what the two items from Primark look alone. This is the pants and then this is the top. Okay guys, so the next items that I have on are the trousers, which are like a nude cargo trouser. They have pockets on them, which are buttoned. And they're kind of like a straight leg, I'd say. But my chunky thighs are definitely pulling them a little bit. And then I have the thick sole trainers on again. Now this top is also from Primark. It is a crop top. It is long armed with slits in the arms. Now I really like the aesthetic of this. However, I feel like for me it just doesn't work because of my big chest. It needs to be slightly longer because if I go like this, we've got a lot of ride up from the top, which I just don't vibe with. Now I could tuck it in to something really high waisted, but in all honesty, I'm just not loving it. And now I did pick it up in two colours. I picked it up in the brown colour as well. This is the brown one, which I do actually prefer the colour of the darker one. But I feel like it's going to do the same thing. But I will try it on just in case one of them is different. But yeah, it is quite nice. It's a ripped material and then it has like a dark kind of contrast lining down the middle of it. And then at the bottom and then obviously the lining of the arms is the same. But I just don't vibe with the way it sits on me with my big chest. I just don't think it's very flattering. I'm just going to quickly try the other one on and see if it's the same. So these were £8 each. But I think I am going to return this one because I don't love this one. But I'll try the other one on. Right, so I actually do think the brown one fits a little bit better. Now, I don't know if it's the colouring makers feel like that. But they're both the same size. But I actually do think this brown one is a little better. So I feel like I might hold on to this one. Because I do like the idea of the slit in the arm but it being long arm. Now, this one has contrast detailing of a lighter thread all around it. But I feel like I do like this one. So maybe it was just the colour of that one that I wasn't vibing with. And... When I go like that, we do still have the ride up, but, I mean, I'm not really walking around the streets going like that doing fucking star jumps and that, so I feel like, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. I feel like I'm going to cling on to this one, because I think I would wear this one. 
I've looked at the trousers a few times and I'm just not vibing with them. I really don't like the way that they look with me and I just don't think they're very flattering on me. So these will be returned, but I do think they're a nice trouser and I do love a cargo. I remember, was it like back two years ago, I used to get loads of black cargo trousers because I used to wear them a hell of a lot and I still do like a cargo trouser. But I'm just not vibing with these ones. I don't know if it's the straight leg or just the fit of them. Or just the fact that my legs are really clinging on to them. But I just don't love this pair of trousers. Guys, I've been filming this video for fucking ages. Because I really like styling clothes at the minute. Like, I am a fashion bookinista. I love it. So I'm literally, like, just taking me time pairing the outfits. Okay. The next outfit. I wait. I wait. The next outfit we have on. I am giving myself a 10 out of 10. I really like this. So we have... The only thing I'm wearing from Primark, well this is from Primark but not this whole, okay, but I'm wearing this long cardigan v-neck in cream. I really like it, it is a lovely knit material, it's got brown buttons down it, but yeah it's quite a long length as well, which is what I really like because it's kind of like a cardigan come dress, however it's not long enough to technically be a dress but you can give it that vibe. So I have paired my little leather skirt from Primark that I got in this haul underneath it as well just obviously for more coverage i've gone for some little tights and then i've gone for some boots so being a chubby legged girl i do really struggle with boots i've ordered some from yours clothing that are meant to be like you know just below the knee and i really hope the thing i found some last year that i thought were the one i thought were going to have a long lasting connection i was out in them one day and the zip just split my chubby legs were putting too much pressure on the zip and it's flipped. So I really want a pair of like knee-high boots that I can wear and style. But as of yet, I'm yet to find one suitable for my legs. But I'll let you know how I get on with the yours clothing ones. Shoes is something that I really struggle with. However, I do think I've got better with shoes over the last kind of year. There was one point in my life where all I wore was my old school Vans. And if you followed us for that long, you'll remember my Instagram was literally every photo with me them on. I started to get comments about it. And I realised, yeah, I didn't actually own any other shoes. I didn't wear any other shoes. So now I do stand it up with my shoes a bit. Now, these boots, I really like. They're just above the ankle. They're a wide fit boot. I got them on ASOS. I'll link them below if they're still in stock. I really like them. They're a sturdy boot. They've got studs on them and gold detailing. So I feel like I will be wearing these a lot in the autumn. And I already have worn them for quite a while. So I bought this in an X. L, so this is what an XL fit looks like. I have paired it with a belt just because I do like a belt to cinch in my waist to pull us together a bit. Now this was £13 which I think is quite a good price. It is quite a thick knit. I really like it and then I've gone for the black blazer just to pull the outfit together nicely and underneath I have a high neck mesh top which I got from Sheen. It was on my latest Sheen haul which if you haven't seen I'll have linked below. And then I do like to style sunglasses. I just think they give it a more bougie look but this is the outfit and this is the cardigan and how I've decided to style it. I really like this outfit, something I'm definitely going to recreate on a day out. But yeah, happy with this one and I'm really happy with this cardigan and it will be staying, my friends. You've earned a permanent place in my wardrobe, love. Well, probably not permanent, but you've got yourself a place this year. Okay, guys, so the next item that I picked up was this little mesh top. I honestly love, love, love mesh items because I think they're so good to layer but don't add an extra layer of warmth. And I'm a very, like, I'm the type of person who gets very hot. So that's why I really like mesh. So this is a brown and white check long sleeved crop top. Kind of high neck. It's not like a funnel neck, but it is go like high up to your neck. I really love the style of this. I've paired it with my black leather look skirt, my little chain belt, my body warmer, little bag, tights, and some loafers. Now, I um and all ah whether I like the look of these on my feet or not. I haven't actually worn them out yet, but I do keep styling them with outfits and I'm like, maybe I could wear them, but then I feel like they're a bit too smart for me. I don't really vibe with smart footwear. I like a heel when I go out and I'm getting really glam. I do like a heel, but I'm just not sure on these. Let us know what you think about them. I do feel like loafers are really stylish and I'd love to wear them, but I'm just not sure if they suit my body and my feet. But anyway, this is the little mesh top. Very happy with this and definitely I'm keeping it. Ooh! Okay, guys, the next item that I have on is this blue swirl mesh high neck, funnel neck top, long sleeve. If you watch my last Primark haul, which I done two weeks ago, I got a top in the, I got a dress in the exact same pattern as this, but it was a like cotton material. This is a mesh. I really love the pattern. I like blue. Well, to be fair, I don't really love blue clothes, but I feel like this is a nice pattern. Now, I styled it with the leather skirt again, a leather jacket, 
a leather field jacket, some tights and high top Converse style shoes. I really like this, but I'll take the jacket off to show you the full top. This is what the top looks like. I love, love, love mesh. It's a light layer, and like I said, I'm the type of person that gets really hot, so light layers are fab for me. I like it. It's long arm, and I just think it's a really cute fit top, and definitely something that I will be wearing and styling throughout the next year. Okay, guys, the next item that I got is this black knit dress. Now, I like this. It has a kind of balloon arm on it, like a bit of a puff arm. I've styled it with a red lipstick because, honestly, when I put this on, I was like, you, my love, you need a little bit of red lip. That's what you need. So, I've put a bit of a red lip on. This is how it looks. I've kept the tights on because I feel like I wanted a tight vibe with this dress. I've also put the black Gucci belt on from Hidden Fashion or Fake Gucci belt. And then I've also paired it with the loafers. I feel like it was a very smart dress, so it needed a smart shoe. And I was toying between my boots or these, but I went for these in the end. It has got a little slit. It is quite high up, which I like. I feel like this is an absolutely gorgeous dress for going out in the colder months. I think it's really nice. It's quite sophisticated. I feel like it's a really nice dress. I really like it. And it was only £13 for the dress, which I think is really, really reasonable. Overall, very happy with this. I'm glad I decided to pick it up. Okay, guys, and the next item that I got is another knit dress. This one has a collar and buttons all down the middle, but the buttons are fake. They do not come undone. So I've paired this with my chain belt and my teddy trench coat. I did put the nude trainers, but I don't think they look that great. So I'd probably change them for my boots or my high top converse. But yeah, I really, really like this dress. Going to be keeping it. I'll show you it without the coat. This is the dress without the coat. So this is what it looks like. It's long sleeved. It is rib material, slightly lighter material than the previous dress but I really like this dress as well definitely going to keep it definitely think I'll get a lot of wear out of it going into the next year and the next season very happy oh my god guys this has been an overall success of a haul I love the home wear a lot of the clothes I really really like there's a few bits that I wasn't too keen on that I'll return however I feel like overall this has been a huge success and I'm so, so happy with all the bits that I got. And Primark, you're bloody killing it at the minute, loves. You are killing it. Good on yous. Thank you so much for watching this Primark haul. If you would like us to continue to do them, let us know by giving this a thumbs up. Today's secret word is going to be sheep. Sheep. Bah! Sheep. Bah! Sheep. But the aim of the game is to get the secret word in a sentence. That's what I want you to do. So get the secret get the secret word in a sentence and I'll be commenting back to all of you who use the secret word in a sentence. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!